Hello, my name is Daniel Chambers and I play Joe Tor from Away From It All. Hello, I'm Anna Lloyd and I played Liddy. I'm Mirren Brady and I played Sherry Miller. I'm Ben, Ben Gilbert. Um, I play Frank Troy, who is a lovely, lovely man. I'm Anna Vince, I play Robin Troy. I'm also part of the crew as a writer, director, script editor, set designer and the head of transmedia and social media. My name is Lewis John Brosker and I played the character of Thomas Boldwood. My name's Sarah McCourt and I played Neera Everdeen, Bath's mum. Hello, uh, I'm Debs and I play Bath Shiva Everdeen. I'm also called Deborah, but I don't like being called that, it just sounds professional. Hello, I'm Chelsea, I played Marianne Money slash Moon in Away From It All and today I have for you a veritable array of questions. Your favourite colour? Favourite colour. Your favourite colour? Uh, favourite colour. Your favourite colour? Uh, blue. Blue. Indigo blue? Um, don't know why. Hardest question you could ever ask me is what is my favourite colour? Um, it's blue though, so. Oh, my favourite colour is blue, which is what I'm wearing right now. Green. Light pink. My favourite colour is red. Black. Then it's not really a colour, it's more of a shade, so then I would have to go with dark red or burgundy. Uh, I would say Bathsheba is loyal, independent, brainy, kind, friendly, outgoing, hyper, caring, extremely possessive, especially of her daughter, headstrong, laid back, if you hyphenate it. People pleaser, um, sensitive, fabulous, brilliant, and passionate. Very passionate. And under it all, I think he's still a, a little bit broken. Little bit gay. Means well, but socially inept. Dangerously socially inept, possibly. Means well, dangerously socially inept. Really cool, awesome vintage rocker. I'm a big Marianne fan. Frank is a giant knob. Most challenging was probably, um, I, th I think it was episode 42 or 46, I forgot which one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it took about 28 takes, so that was <laughs> an experience. I really wanted to get the Robin reveal right, and that was a tough, emotional one to film. Challenging-wise, I would say episode 40, um, because I had to cry, and I can't cry, and I didn't end up crying. I could cry at Pokemon, but I can't cry when I'm like, all emotion stuff. So Ben, who plays Frank, uh, happily made me feel like shit, and yell at me, and, you know, be really like, brr. Um, help my head get in that kind of, in that space. Yeah, so thanks Ben for abusing me. Most challenging one I'd say is probably, probably the episode where Frank starts to hit on Bath in the pub. He does the, the pen magic trick. It took me a while to kind of be able to do that. I, I, I don't even know if I did it quite right in the end. The phone call was filmed in two countries at once. By that point I had flown back to the Netherlands, which is where I live. So I Skyped Debs and we recorded the conversation that way. I was also directing it, which was quite tricky. My favourite would probably be my most challenging, um, which was episode 29, Ambush. Up to episode 29, you kind of saw him being the Joe that puts on a brave face, smiles because he would prefer to make sure that everyone else is happy and no one's worrying about him. Um, and I think in that moment, again, just to help Bath, he kind of bared all and really wore his heart on his sleeve, which was a challenge because... It was such, um, there, was, there was quite a lot of text in, in that episode and I kind of really wanted to do it justice and to just try and be as, as truthful as I possibly could and I, I was very nervous about filming that episode in particular just because it was a very vulnerable moment for him. I think it became my most favourite because there was definitely a, a certain atmosphere on set that day where everyone was so focused and because... Everyone, the crew and the cast were so supportive 
um, it kind of became my favourite moment. I mean, in between takes, we did go out, the sun was shining, we had ice cream, so it didn't feel as though someone had just died. You know, there was definitely that heaviness in the atmosphere. But, um, yeah, I think my most challenging moment became my most favourite moment. I think, I think it's the same episode for me, um, which is the episode where Sherry and Liddy kiss. Um, it was my favourite episode to film because, well, it was just a really big moment and it was just so lovely and sweet and obviously up, like with the game leading up to it with the um, the chubby bunny game. It was challenging because obviously it's quite a, uh, quite a um, intimate thing to portray. That was part of what made it my favourite as well because it was the challenge that made it fun. Probably the same for both actually. Um, one of the final scenes, I think it's episode 46, 47 or something like that, where Boldwood confronts Bathsheba about uh, the relationship that he thinks that they're going to have together and their future um, as a couple. Um, it was it was challenging, A, just because it's a long scene to do. And it, obviously we just saw a complete flip in Boldwood's character and it, it was really, really uncomfortable uncomfortable scene to be in yeah that was that was a good scene to film uh in terms of being technically challenging um for me as an actor so we did, we did this whole scene and then i was supposed to storm out and then my hands just could not open the door <laughs> God damn it. so yeah pretty tragic um, most fun, probably the Christmas one, um, where I did the voiceover of Boldwood and Bath together because uh, that was just hilarious to do. Um, my favourite episode is episode 48 because that's basically when Nera mum bombs her daughter's Skype session with Gabriel and embarrasses the pants off her. I kind of liked all of them. Um, I definitely remember the episode where... Frank and, and, and Bath were making cocktails. I always had lime juice just kind of running down my arm. Uh, oh, my favourite episode was episode 49 where everyone's all in the park having a bit of a laugh, really. The sun is like, boom, and we're all like, yay! It was the last episode I filmed, so it was, you know, a little bit sad. But also, so much fun. Because uh, we were literally just eating food, piss arsing around while still filming we had bubbles and ball games and even a dog that tried to eat half the picnic. It was it was great. There's a kind of uh, grey area between acting but not acting. Like, we knew we were being filmed, so we were staying in character, but we were also just having fun and just having a laugh together. It's definitely the most memorable day of shooting I had on the whole thing. I really enjoyed set designing Liddy's room and I love lots of the props in there. I think my favourite is probably Norman the Elephant. Anyone who filmed in Liddy's room became rather fond of him. Favourite prop? Probably the flamingo hat. It's just cool. <laughs> Out of everyone's, I kind of liked Liddy's um, cardboard TV frame. I'd like to have one of those wherever I go, I think. You know, just to emphasise to people that I'm there. The um, Harry Potter scarves because um, Sherry's a Ravenclaw, so I had a Ravenclaw scarf, but I'm actually a Slytherin. I have to say fairy lights, the fairy lights behind me on the bookcase. I think probably the best prop's got to be Liddy's camera. It certainly holds pretty much everything together. I also enjoyed making props, such as Ellie's name tag, the waitress one, and Liddy's cardboard TV. And also putting the ingredients together for Frank's drink. I think it was like milk, olive juice, blue food colouring, a bunch of other stuff wasn't good. Prop wise would be episode 49. I think my favourite prop was just the food. Lots of food. And I love acting. And I love food. So being able to do both at the same time was like... <sighs> I really like the origami flowers we're making in the episode where we end up uh, Marianne, Liddy and Bathsheba tearing up all of Frank's clothes because he's rubbish. Um, although actually I don't I don't think I remember how to make them. Um, Costume-wise, uh, I think a lot of it would be when I was wearing my own stuff, just because I'm not really used to wearing very eccentric 
clothing like Bathsheba likes to wear. And also I'm not very comfortable in dresses. So when I did wear a dress, it was with jeans. I think all of the dresses that Lily wore, because I'm not really a dress person, so... I don't know, I really liked them. They were really cute and summery, like that little yellow one. On YouTube, uh, Jessica said that she really liked Joe's red sweater. So I think that's my favourite too. Here it is. It's very warm. Pretty much everything that came out of Liddy's mouth. Bothered? Cease or desist? Oh, cease and desist. <laughs> that's my favourite line anyway. All of Henri's lines, just because they're so... It's Henri, isn't it? You know, just hilarious and brilliant and witty and genius. Yeah. Um, Liddy says something like, I don't understand why people pretend to like jelly beans. And I'm totally with her there. I, I don't get it. Why? Why do you pretend? They're not good. Now, my favourite line again comes from episode 48 when Nira says, good, carry on then. Completely unaware that she's just sort of mum bombed this really, really intense conversation. Uh, in episode 25, there's a bit of ad-lib between me and Ed. I say that he thinks Pikachu is a rat, and this is actually a true story. Ed genuinely thought that Pikachu was a rat. I was like, mate, read the Pokedex. It's a mouse. In the scene where they're doing the open mic night, um, and everyone's really reluctant to go up, and then I think it's Bastrava comes in and says, um, you do know you get a free drink if you perform right. Everyone just stops, looks up, looks at each other, just cuts to then everybody performing. I just thought that was utterly brilliant. Mm -hmm.